both really fallen in love with the game. So, you know, the excitement when we score, the desolation when we concede, um, the frustration when we can't, we can't do it, all that is very real and palpable. How, how are the um, owners following it at the moment? Are they follow? I'm, I'm guessing they're sort of feeling every every kick and every and every uh, late sort of winner and equaliser that goes in. Yeah, and they and they always have, you know. I mean, they they love the. It's funny because it. Well, I say they always have. I think I think as everyone knows, they they both have gone on a bit of a journey with the football side of it. You know, the the, the objective was always to do with the the town and the team and the community and all those sorts of things. But I think they've both really fallen in love with the game. So, you know, the excitement when we score, the desolation when we concede. Um, the frustration when we can't, we can't do it, all that is very real and palpable. But it's important for us to kind of make sure that we don't get too carried away with it because I think that it's, you know, we were a bit doom and gloom yesterday um, just because I think it adds to the frustration when you go somewhere and you and you do play the way we did um, and to, you know, create a fair few chances and and not take them, but equally sort of, those frustrating moments where things broke down the final third balls get played behind people. We pass, when we should shoot, we shoot when we should pass all those sorts of things it can all be very frustrating, but for us, it's really important to kind of try and zoom out and take a more macro view of everything and, and live on live by seasons rather than by games. Humphrey, can I change the, the, the angle a little bit? Um, where are we on the cop? Uh, so, I think I'm right in thinking that we've not really signed the heads of terms with the council at the moment, uh, but is everything else in place? I know WST, you've uh, I've surrendered the lease, the Transformers done, I think. Is, is mm. am I right in thinking there? Yeah, we've so we've ticked off a lot of the things that, that we need to do. I mean, ultimately, part of it is is gearing up to find you know outside financing and stuff like that as well, because because the council are paying for a big chunk of it. We need to find another big chunk of it. Um, and that was something that kind of couldn't start in earnest until various hoops had been jumped through, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, I mean, we're still, our objective is still, you know, to get started at the end of the season, basically. So um, it's not, you know, we haven't quite crossed all the T's and dotted all the I's, but that that remains the objective. And I know we sort of said that maybe the uh, the temporary stand isn't making money. I mean, I, I find that quite quite surprising, actually, because... You know, it's full all the time. So could you sort of take me through why why it isn't? Actually, so, so the, the longer it's up for, obviously, the more the, the more it pays for itself, basically. Right. So so when we, um, you know, and, and obviously now you will have seen it's, it's now being sponsored. So so that's another thing that has that has added to that. So, you know, without the sponsorship, without this, you know, you've got operation operating costs. We have to staff it. We have to do this. And the other, you know, it had, a, it had a base level of cost at the start. I think if we had just kept it uh, open operational uh, through to the end of the season that didn't quite uh, uh, clean its own face or whatever the, whatever the phrase is wipe its own face i think is is it wipe oh. its own face yeah um i mean yeah, you're I'm cleaning sure. i mean when you're wiping you're cleaning <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah certainly yeah. i am i'm rarely wiping without cleaning um <laughs> and uh the yes so, so the four wall sponsorship basically has has meant that that's a, that's a chunk of money that that has I think tipped it over into into profitability at this at this stage. Um, you know, obviously we don't want it open next season. We want to be getting on with with building. But if you know, God forbid, it is open next season, then then we'll be we'll be making money there. 